You are you official. official. You are official. Under Sound Plus Wave Podcast. You can listen, listen and, learn, learn, and enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. With your man, GJ Box Fresco. From the other side. From the other side. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? So, this is your man, GJ Box Fresco. From the other side. Well, um. The topic at hand here is classical music vs. modern music. Therefore, we are going to take a look at both and uh, just kind of decide, you know, what are the good parts and the interesting parts, I'd say, of each kind of uh, genre or, I'd say, type of music. Since classical music... It's a lot of, there's a lot of people who listen to classical music, you know, such as Mozart um, is a very big, uh, famous musician, like Beethoven, you know, Chopin. Um, so Mozart is uh, one of the most famous one. I'd say Beethoven also. And um, as I just mentioned, Chopin. You know, a lot of people prefer these type of music over modern music. But modern music, such as pop, jazz, hip-hop, electronic music, this is all people listen to. You know, this is the most uh, listened to music on earth. It's these type of music. Typically, classical music is considered music that that's made before the 19th century. So anything before the 19th century is more considered classical music although it's not entirely true but before the 19th century we can say that this is classical music and modern music is born uh, whereas modern music is born right after classical music was moved along by you know the famous composers such as Mozart and Beethoven and Chopin you know, a lot of modern music makes much more use of, like, uh, you know, when it comes to modern music, which is different from classical, you know, in modern music, people make make a lot of use of uh, synthesizers, electric guitars, drums, you know, it, where in classical music, it's entirely different. Classical music is generally expected to be performed by trained musicians who play classical instruments. So, um, that being said, uh, classical and um, uh, modern music are different in that in that kind of field where people who play classical music use um, classical instruments, and modern music people use kind of like modern instruments. You know, as we mentioned, synthesizers, electric guitars, and electric drums, things of that nature. So, let's keep going. You know, many modern songs are sung with lyrics. You know, it's it's always a lyric. It's always a text. In contrast to classical music, which is either uses no words or is purely instrumental. You know, most classical music just don't use a text. You know, you listen to people playing the instruments. And um, it's it, it's mostly that. So... This is a way to differ these two songs. So if you like lyrics, you know, modern music is more for you. But if you don't, classical music is more for you. Classical music is generally intended to be listened to by a quiet audience. You know, um, people appreciate the nuances, uh, the nuances of um, of a piece, you know, of a piece of uh, um, played by uh, like a group of musicians. They listen to classical music. You know, it's different with modern music where you enjoy this at like a club or like especially a party or you in your house, you're trying to put like, you know, some walk and roll on and just, you know, a party with your friends. It's totally different, you know. Composers could write down what they wanted for each instrument to play. You know, just in classical music, the composer kind of have the leading role where he decides this is where what 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 what's this instrument is going to play, and this is when it's going to play, and they could wears for hours until you know they actually you know uh, find um 
the performance time and the coaches go for hours just rehearsing. In most contemporary uh, music, digital audio stations, you know, software is used in the production process. You know, just nowadays, uh, in terms of making music, people use a digital audio workstation which is different in classical music where people will sit for hours, just kind of rehearse and perform the piece in front of an audience who is expected to be quiet and listen, you know. Most producers program every instrument using the computer keyboard in modern music. You know, they use a keyboard, a mouse, they sit on the computer, there is always a microphone, and, you know, there is a type of, you know, putting the performing inside of a microphone, either if it's, you know, uh, uh, whatever type of music they're performing, and it's analog to digital converters during the actual recording process. This is what summarized the whole idea. So classical music differs from modern music in that musical language itself. It is formal and structured, where when you're actually looking at modern music, I wouldn't say it's not structured, but it's not as structured as classical music where their whole style is to be structured, is to be listened to, pay attention to nuances. Therefore, there is a large difference in terms of um, being formal. I don't want to say that modern music is known to be formal, although there is formal type of cla- of modern music, but formal is more of a trait that classical music has. Um, modern composers have taken a closer look at rhythm, instrumentation, tone, color, and um, they just use these performance techniques. Harmony and melody are no longer the sole basis of musical structure. You know, it's not what modern music it's only about. There's increased use of um, percussion and use of standard instruments. You know, a lot of standard instruments in, in non-standard ways. You know, you know, it's always a style, a new way of making, you know, the violin sound or a new way of making the drum sounds or guitar. So modern music is different in that sense. Many modern sounds are sung with lyrics, you know. So as I, as we mentioned earlier, compared to classical music, which is either with no words and uh, most likely is purely instrumental. So for classical music, if you want to talk to your friends and, you know, act like you know some people, which uh, the name I'm about to mention are very famous, but you can talk to them about Ludwig van Beethoven. So he's a famous uh, uh, pianist, and um, Beethoven remains one of the most admired composers in the history of Western music. You know, his works rank amongst the most performed of the classical music uh, repertoire and span the transition between the classical period and the romantic era in the classical music. Uh, therefore, Beethoven, which is, you know, um, around the 70s, 17, um, 1770s to the 1820s, uh, 1830s, 1827s, uh, this is really, you know, the 18th to the 19th century. So this is really uh, a long time ago. And you have Wolfgang um Amadeus Mozart, which is widely regarded as amongst the greatest composers in the history of Western music. You know, he was born in Austria, you know, and uh, Mozart composed music in several genres. And um, he was really admired by Beethoven. Beethoven really admired what he did. And we have Chopin which is a Polish composer, a pianist, 
and he wrote primarily for solo piano but he's very known and famous so that was the three ones for classical music and uh, i hope you enjoy this one classical vs modern music i hope to catch you in the next one this was your man dj box thank you <laughs>